Hey guys, what's up? Wait, what's happening to Decode Talker? It's being destroyed, but what is this? A new creature comes out from within. There is a brand new Cyber Slink monster coming to a Japanese store near you. While stops last, people who visit their local store can get their hands on the new Code Talker Link monster. This is the preform of Decode Talker. It is a link to Dark Cyber Slink monster with the link points directing at the top and the bottom. It requires two effect monsters. Its effect is gain 500 attack for each monster it points to. This card cannot be destroyed by battle or by an opponent's card effect while it points to a monster. The benefit of this card is if your opponent summons a monster in that zone, then Code Talker will become 1800 at best. This card could become a 2300 attack monster, the same as, ironically, Decode Talker. <laughs> Its summoning requirement is very generic and can be splashed into any deck. The ability to protect itself from destruction is the opposite of the negation effect associated with Deco Talker. In terms of its design, it looks like a bareback version of Deco Talker, as though you have taken away um, most of Deco Talker's armor and replaced it with a very basic armor. It has a very sleek appearance considering and the sword it carries looks not too different from De Decode Talkers, except the guard on the sword, if you notice, looks silver rather than gold. Hey guys, cheer up. At least we know Decode Talker received an upgrade of weapons as it strengthened. As a small side note, there is also going to be a V-Jump promo confirming the release of a Link Monster for both the Gladiator Beasts and the Burning Abyss archetypes. I'm very happy to hear this news as this shows that Konami is giving um, a serious thought about support of various archetypes. It also confirms that there will be Link Monsters for the next two uh, V-Jump uh, promos. So what do you guys think? Uh, are you excited for the new Code Talker monster? When do you think it will get its release in the TCG? Do you like the link support for these archetypes? And if you were Konami, which archetypes would you want to give priority for link monsters? As always, leave your comments down below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe. Please click the bell for notifications. And thank you for taking the time to watch the video.